Why am I standing in this ordinary street in suburban Old Trafford? What's special about it? Well, nothing except the TV aerials on this side of the street point in one direction, and these ones on the other side point in another direction. Why am I telling you this, and who in their right mind notices something like this? Well, Ringway Manchester does, and I'm going to tell you why. It may have something to do with this, Old Trafford Stadium, the home of Manchester United Football Club. You see, this huge metal structure is quite big, and at 250 metres by 205 metres by about 60 metres high, it kind of gets in the way, at least enough to block radio or television signals. Houses around the area receive their television signals mainly from the Winter Hill Transmitting Station off to the northwest. Winter Hill has many relays around the Greater Manchester region which cover areas without a good line of sight to the transmitter itself. Railway Road sits directly behind the stadium and up to a certain point all television aerials point over to Winter Hill until you get to the houses in the shadow of Old Trafford Stadium. Due to numerous other tall buildings the houses also struggle to receive other relays of Winter Hill. So what we have at Old Trafford is genius. It looks sort of like a mobile phone panel antenna, except it isn't. This is known as a self-help relay and its sole purpose is to serve these houses that sit in the shadow of the stadium. It operates as a conventional transposer transmitting all six main DTT multiplexes and for those new to the channel I'll break down some of that terminology. In broadcasting, a transposer, also known as a translator, is a device in or beyond the service area of a radio or television station transmitter that rebroadcasts signals to receivers which can't properly receive the signals of the transmitter because of a physical obstruction. This usually applies to something like a hill, but for getting around the stadium, it does exactly what it says on the tin. DTT stands for Digital Terrestrial Television and it's transmitted using radio frequencies through terrestrial space in the same way as the former analogue television systems. The primary difference however is the use of what are known as multiplex transmitters to allow reception of multiple television services on a single frequency. DAB Radio is another big user of multiplexes. So, in simple terms, you'll notice a television receive aerial on the roof of the stadium pointing directly towards Winter Hill. What this is doing is receiving the freeview television signals from Winter Hill itself. It can do this because it's higher than the aerials on the roofs of the houses and can see Winter Hill directly. Then it feeds the relay on the side of the stadium, which in turn provides the television services to the houses that can't see Winter Hill. It looks like only the small portion of railway road that sits behind the stadium is affected, along with a couple of side streets. Some of the houses use the relay, but a lot of the aerials still seem to point directly at Winter Hill. This is because the signal isn't completely blocked, but if they align their aerials towards the relay as opposed to Winter Hill, they definitely receive a much stronger and reliable signal. So, that's a classic example of a self-help relay, and I think it's brilliant. Oh, and before I go, Manchester United used to have an AM radio service on 1413kHz that launched in 1994 and broadcast match commentary, interviews and features within a 50 mile range of the ground. It ran from March 1994 until May 2008 and would have used an antenna similar to this. So if anyone has any photos or recollections of the transmitter or aerial which was actually at Old Trafford Stadium itself then let me know.